Hey, snickerdoodles. I have my teeth out. I'm getting used to it. I don't, my girlfriend was like, oh my God, you're so cute without your dentures in. You turn into this little old lady. Maybe. So what I wanted to do today is um, share actually some of my um, cushion grip learning. Um, so I have my teeth out, obviously. Um, I want to show you, though, where I am. Now, these are my um, immediate dentures. So immediate dentures means that you have had your teeth or some of your teeth removed. Um, and an intermediate denture, you get fitted before you have your tooth removal. So I had mine out on November 5th of last year, which is 2021. Um, and these were placed immediately over um, all of the wounds, which is what they are. Let's be honest with each other, they're wounds. Um, physical trauma to your face, your neck is what I experienced. Um, so now you have that hard thing, um, the hard liner for quite some time, um, and it keeps the swelling down and it allows better healing. Okay, I have a video about immediately post-op, but right now I am into my second soft liner. Um, so I'm going to just show you what that looks like right now. Um, as you can see, like, there are some bubbles in my soft liner. Parts of it are starting to wear away right here. I don't know what that spec is, but I can't get it out right now. So when more of the, side, the soft liner goes, I will show you that. Now, these are my bottoms, and you can see, like, I've literally had to go in and rip out um, a little bit of the material because they just were not fitting. Um, so I have my cushion grip and my dentures are clean and dry and I have the cup of water. Um, so while I do this, uh, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you how I do it and what I've learned, but I also want to answer some of your questions, um, and respond to some of the comments that you've given me. So here we go. Squeezing out, hands are dry. <laughs> just cracks me right up. Boop. Boop. There we go. Actually, I'm going to pull that off. Um, so again, I don't like using that bottom key that they send. So I am going to just push this out with my hands and I'm going to get a paint key to do the, um, oh, maybe I have to do that now. Oh, what are you doing? Nice face, Harmony. I'm going to put this back into my warm water while I'm working with this. Um, so where I have found that I need some support is actually right on this bump that goes in my upper palate. Um, so I know where I need it now. Um, you know, and I was at a point where I'm like, well, you know, I'm just going to put it on the areas I need it. Well, here's the problem with that that I've learned is that's all good and great but it doesn't help you form that seal um because there's you know there's area that i don't need it right so what i'm gonna do in those areas is just spread it super thin because i'm gonna use this as you know this is a coating this is gonna help me with my seal so i'm gonna do that i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done um <clears throat> So, I've had a couple of questions, one of which was, um, you know, what was my recovery time like? Well, honestly, here's the deal. Um, in, okay, so we're going to go back to 2020. So, actually, we should go back further than that, but we'll start with 2020. Uh, I was hospitalized. Um, I was in extraordinary diabetic ketoacidosis. Um, that had been causing seizures for months prior. And my breaking point had been in February where my seizures were uh, all day, every day. 
um, as it turned out, um, I had gotten the flu, and it's kind of one of those thank giddy gravy that I did, um, because I wound up in the hospital, um, and I know this sounds really dramatic, but I was literally hours away from dying, um, you know, and that was something I would probably have said with more pride in my teens, ha ha, I was hours away from dying, but now, with two kids, uh, it's actually just terrifying, is what it is. Um, so my body was already not doing well. Um, my muscles had atrophied. Uh, they had only really been used to theater. Um, and I was having to be helped to the bathroom. I couldn't go up and down stairs. It was all very dramatic and awful. Um, okay, so, cushion grip. Now you see how I've just spread this, so I've got like a nice, even um, layer, even in the areas where I don't need it built up, right? So I know that I need it built up in this trench, this area, this area. All right. Um, I'm going to leave this for five minutes. I'm going to do my bottoms. That was a look. And you're not really supposed to, but I'm going to do it because this is what works for me right now. Um, so I had been really sick, like really, really sick. Um, so my body was kind of healing from that. Um, I had a complete radical hysterectomy last summer as well. So that was in August. So I had a little bit of time to like heal. Then I had the histo, and I mean radical histo, everything's gone, um, which of course threw me into early menopause. Some healing from that, I did get a bit of infection, um, uh, 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 they call it a vaginal cuff. Sorry, this is way too much information if you are, um, if, if you're anyone that doesn't have a uterus. My bad. Um, but I'm saying this because people have, have talked about, you know, asked about my healing time. So I, I need you to know that my body was a hot mess, right? So now with the bottom, going back, um, I know, <laughs> it looks terrible, I know that I need extra cushion grip right here because what had happened is um, the silicone liner that I had got um, obviously I'm still healing, right? Um, and so it just wasn't fitting properly, so I kind of pulled that bit out. Um, and now I am just kind of making a better seal with the cushion grip, and it's giving me more, um, comfort there, I guess we should say. Um, so I had, you know, I had gotten a little bit better, and then I went in to have my teeth removed. You know, and I had been so sick. Um, part of the reason that I was having seizures um, was the medication that I had been on for my diabetes, which was a late onset diabetes. I was 36 when I was diagnosed. Um, and, you know, so everything just kind of wreaked havoc on my body. Then I had my teeth out. And I had, you know, I had a lot of infections. I had nine abscesses. I had some periodontal disease in uh, my lower jaw. So it was really just not the greatest time I've ever had. Um, and so my recovery time, so I have to leave this for five minutes. So my recovery looked probably a lot different than what yours will. Um, you know, mine took a long time. I was in bed for a long time. Um, you know, I, people have asked if I lost weight. I didn't lose weight because I didn't have any to lose. Um, and I hope that that doesn't sound, you know, snobby and, and whatever. I just, I didn't have the physical body weight to lose. I was barely hanging on. Um, so, sorry about the ums. Uh, so that was my experience, right? Like, I didn't have the body weight to lose. Um, post-op was a lot of soup. Um, a lot of yogurt, a lot of smoothies. 
but what I did do is I used a whole lot of SlimFast powder. Doesn't have the calories, but it does have the nutrition, right? And so I was, wasn't was doing like the SlimFast diet, I was literally mixing it into all of my smoothies. Um, I discovered that vanilla SlimFast, mango juice, pineapple, and a little bit of coconut milk is beautiful smoothie. Highly recommend, um, especially if you're dairy free. Although I guess you could also use a Vega powder. They have the French vanilla. And again, you know, you just want to get something with calories, something with nutrition into your body. If you can tolerate boost, if you can tolerate like the carnation instant breakfasts, highly recommend. Um, and it's taken me a long time to eat and, you know, uh, because I did have a lot of dental issues previously, um, and my life is just a bit of a gong show, really. I am the luckiest woman in the world. I have a lot of amazing things going on, but yo, when it goes south, it goes south. So that's a thing. Um, you know, and it's been learning to talk. And it's been learning to chew, which is harder than one would think. Um, because you've got pressure and you've got different pressure spots and you're, you're learning, right? It's all this crazy learning curve. And right now, one of the places that I'm in um, is I can't financially um, afford another liner. Like, it's $1,000. And I don't love it right? Like, I think there'd be a big thing if I was like, oh, the silicone liner gives me awesome suction, and I'm really excited about it, and it's going to feel so good. Okay, well, I don't have that experience, right? My experience is I don't actually like the silicone liner at all, and I would be so much happier to have this right down to the hard acrylic, hard acrylic, um, and use a cushion grip. Like, that to me is probably going to be a lot better. But it's a learning curve, and we don't know these things, and we don't talk about these things, and so that is why I'm here. And admittedly, I've gotten a little off track because it's kind of exciting to be able to connect with other people who are going through the same things that I did or have gone through. And, you know, so I do put up a little bit more uh, videos about, like, just other weird stuff I've been through, um, you know, but I think I kind of, I, I went a little too far on that, so I apologize, and we're coming back to dentures, and gardening, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm very proud of my garden, and it's my happy space, anyway, so it's been five minutes, so here's what I'm gonna do, this is not how they say to do it, this is what I've discovered that works best for me, so, putting these bad boys in. Um, I want to just point out, and I'm so sorry if you're squeamish. Suck it up. You can see, like, I'm flattening, but you can see, like, I'm still bumpy. Um, but eventually, my oral surgeon promises me that it will all flatten out. Cool. I'm excited about that. Anyway, popping these in. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And I like to, in the middle of my upper palate, I like to press on a little bit harder because I do have some weirdness. I don't know. You're not supposed to do this, but I'm gonna. Gentle. Because this is not your adhesive right? This is just to be a little bit more comfortable. And so I'm going to just intermittently bite down. Now what I've discovered is the longer I can leave this in, the better off my adhesion will be when I go in with my adhesive. This stuff. Can we just talk for a minute? Holy crap donkey. I'm in love. I'm in love. This doesn't taste bad. It is like 30% olive oil. And it has hold. This is so far better than secure. I was looking to touch wood, but because it it 
What I found is depending on what I do during the day, my need for hold is different. Um, like I've been using this and I've been able to eat y'all pizza. I still have to cut it up. I can't bite into anything with my front teeth yet, but I think it's going to come. So the other thing that I should probably say with eating is I'm celiac. So where you could have a piece of toast or a soft bun or something like that, I can't. Um, a lot of the gluten-free products are either harder or it's a, just a much different texture. So it becomes kind of more of an issue of comfort, right? It becomes like, what am I going to eat today? And what does my, what do my hold needs look like? If I'm up later in the afternoon, I will use my secure because I know I don't need that much hold. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come back um, just because I want to be able to show you what happens with this when I've had it in for a while. I'll be back. Okay, so here's where I am. <clears throat> my lowers are cushion grip. I'm going to let this sit for a minute. My uppers, because they do have a little bit of suction, I leave in for a bit longer because I can right i'm at a place in my healing where i actually can do that and it gives for me it gives the cushion grip a little bit more time to set so a couple things that i do want to go through a couple things denture paste is definitely a personal thing some people are great with fix a dent some people are really good with um like some of the extra hold stuff that's out it doesn't work for me i'm allergic and what that looks like for me is so much vomiting. Um, you know, when I realized that I was having such a severe reaction, um, I was probably on a week of trying and vomiting and looking at new pastes and trying and vomiting and back and forth. And it is really sucked. So if you start to throw up, you start to notice... Um, you know, you're not able to eat as well. It's, it's really weird with just my uppers in, right? Um, you know, I want you to fiddle around with denture pastes because not everything is one size fits all. I have found this to be my gold standard. Other than this is the Secure Sensitive. Uh, the Secure Regular I can use, but it gives me a little bit of the sting on my gums. And I don't love that couple other things I've noticed. Now, I did do a makeup video at one point, and um, I think I probably will again. Here's what I want to really put out there, and this is for people who wear makeup, my snickerdoodles who are loving makeup, or are noticing um, your skin, right? Because that does change. It, um, it tends to increase your wrinkles if you have some mature skin, which I do. So the, the only mature thing about me is my, that's fun is my wrinkles um so that's definitely something you're gonna notice i'm gonna make another really quick makeup and skin video in a couple minutes but i don't want to make this super long so your parents how you're looking right after surgery this is not how you are going to look i need you to know that the internal swelling from this surgery lasts a very long time, okay? So your dentures are going to start getting loose as you go through this journey. Um, when everything is healed and closed is when you can start safely using an adhesive. Do not use an adhesive while you have sutures because that will screw you. In the long run, that is going to screw you. Don't do it. Um, not even a little bit like don't just think you can be sneaky and put some on your upper palate it doesn't work like that don't do it so the first bit is gonna suck i'm sorry maybe it doesn't for you maybe you were in great health and you are like kicking ass and taking names right now i wasn't i was in bed for two weeks um i did the i have a lot of drug allergies not as many as I thought, but anyway. Um, so they had given me hydromorphone. And it was like this big fight 
to get it. Um, not because my doctor didn't want to prescribe it. I'd had it during one of my previous surgeries and it worked really well, but it is like with having post COVID, um, they've really cracked down on certain substances. So that form, the prescription literally needed to be done in like quadruplicate and be registered. I am really lucky that I have a great relationship with my pharmacist because I am a hot mess or I have been for the last couple of years anyway. Um, so I did get, and, and I didn't want like a big prescription. I wanted like four pills. Okay. Well, they don't do that. They do like 10 or whatever. I took two, um, first night. And then I went to take one after that had worn off the second day and O M F G the skin itch was so bad that I was very literally like, I will take the pain over this any day of the week. And I mean, it wasn't small amounts of pain. It was two black eyes. You know, my neck is swollen. The back of my neck is sore. Um, I am like bruised. I was like a Lego block. If I can find a picture of it, I'm going to show you because it was intense. And I was miserable and I was drooly and, you know, I was in bed for weeks. Like, and I'm sure that's not everyone's experience, but it was mine. So I need you to know if you are in that place, it does get better. It doesn't feel like it's going to get better. It feels like it is going to be for effing ever and it's not. But man, I was despairing at points. Like, crying, thinking this was the worst mistake of my life. I never should have had them out. I should have just lived with the pain and sucked it up. And I got through it. I got through it and you will too i hope you don't have all of my health problems i, re I honest to god i hope you don't have these problems <laughs> but if you do and if this is really hard for you it's okay because it is gonna get better and i think that there are a lot of things you know um suzanne had been mentioning like her mom had dentures and she hated them and it was awful and sometimes she just wants to smash them with a great big hammer and oh my god like i swear that is where i've been i i get it we don't think about like where our parents were or where our grandparents were with dentures because it was a different time they didn't have the medical advancements um you know they didn't have i don't think they had cushion grip right i don't think they had a huge choice in adhesives and I don't think that, honestly, I don't think pain was really taken as seriously as, as it is now. Because this affects everything, right? And you don't realize. You don't think about it. Okay, my lowers are dry. So what I, you can go in and do at this point, I might leave this to set for another minute or two, um, is you can very gently, and what I do is I take the cushion grip to the edge of where I need it because it did start to kind of you can see it'll kind of flip out a little bit around um, you know where you needed it but at this point you can go in and what I do is just push it along the side and then pull it down see what I mean so you've got that you've got it where you need it but you don't have that extra overhang. And I find that super helpful. Now I am gonna leave this for a couple more minutes before I put um, my fix it, my adhesive in. But that's kind of what I've learned with cushion grip. It does not work if you just do it in certain spots because then it is getting water underneath it and it is um, compromising the cushion grip. So things I have learned build up the certain areas but definitely spread it all over um like i said i'm gonna do a makeup video i'm actually gonna end this here because it's 25 minutes and god nobody needs to hear me talk for 25 minutes i'm so sorry all right Snickerdoodles. i will talk soon i hope this was helpful have a great day